mom and dad. I am thrilled and honored to begin this video montage of messages much like the one I'm about to offer, but I get the privilege of going first and thereby introducing and summarizing what's about to follow. So buckle your seatbelts because I am merely the first of about an hour of video you will soon see from friends and family and framily as uh, the kids say these days. I will present something, Karen gets a shot, I make a return appearance as a mystery member of the family. The kids do what the kids do best. Uh, Lior, Zachary, and Noah have a musical performance. And Jed and Danya get to uh, Acharon Acharon Chaviv, as they say in Hebrew. Last but very mu much not least, uh, bring up the end of this video. So if you last through a single, almost a single hour of video, you get to see them give final tribute to the two of you. So, since I'm the only one who's actually seen all of what's about to follow, I get to say this. There's so much love, so much kavod, uh, deep honor and respect offered for the role that the two of you in 45 years of marriage, and more than that, obviously, as incredible humans on this small planet, um, but the role that the two of you together as a couple have had in leaving a deep and lasting impact on your families, on your community, and on the earth as we know it. So thank you um, as uh, at least one person who will uh, say later in this video that the two of you are known for your attitude of gratitude and for your activism and passion and leadership in the community and in our family, that I get to follow in your footsteps and to offer my gratefulness for your role as my parents and my role models. And as a role model now to Karen and God willing um, in our future as parents. So, Mazel Tov, Ad Me'ave Esrim, as they say, until 120 years for you both. Um, I, we look forward to this celebratory weekend in DC and in the Poconos and many more simchas, only simchas, please God, only shared joyous occasions to come. Well, Harriet and Clem, I just want to wish you a very happy 45th wedding anniversary. It seems like yesterday when you were married. However, I do remember your wedding as I was the maid of honor. I remember standing by under, standing at the chuppah waiting for you to come down the aisle. And as you came down the aisle, a whole group of people got up and walked out of the wedding because when they saw you, they realized they were at the wrong wedding. Um, but I also enjoyed meet Clem, meeting your family from Dothan, Alabama, um, all the Bloombergs. It was a lovely, lovely wedding, and I have very fond memories. You've had a wonderful, wonderful marriage, uh, blessed with two wonderful children, and you have instilled the love that you have for each other in your children and in your grandchildren. So many, many more happy anniversaries okay there we are we're coming to you from ireland happy happy anniversary <laughs> we we want to wish you the best you're the greatest what do we say in terms of memories we have so many memories we've traveled to so many places together strikingly dora county after zach's wedding uh we thought we always think about Mount Lassen. We've rafted down the Ant Edom Creek. I'm looking at this list we wrote. <laughs> it's so long that you probably don't want to hear every trip we've gone on. Grand Canyon. Mount Lassen. Grand <laughs> Canyon. What about all the movies we've gone to? What about all those great meals? All the holidays we so celebrated together. And the sharing of tsuris. Fortunately, not a lot of tsuris. 
and sharing a lot of great, great times together. We love you and wish you another healthy 45 years, Oy <laughs> and, and, and we will go into Alta Kaka Hood together with you. Amen. Mazel tov. Bye, bye. bye we, darlings. We love you. <laughs> Hi, Harriet and Clem. Hi, Clem and Harriet. 50 years. Oh, my goodness. That's just wonderful. Mazel we're, tov, mazel tov. We're so happy to send greetings to you. We've been friend for, friends for many years. Done so many wonderful things together. Really enjoyed the wedding last year. <laughs> Remember when Clem and I formed the men's group and, uh, and also meditated in my car after it was destroyed by, the, by flooding? <laughs> and we were in the women's group for over 10 years until we, it kind of ran its course. Mention about Rosh Hashanah, how, how... When I mentioned to you, Harriet, that our family wasn't getting together for Rosh Hashanah, without hesitation, you invited us, and we have spent several years, family tradition now, spending Rosh Hashanah and Tashlich with you. And getting to know your grandchildren, feeling like they're almost ours too. <laughs> we love them like our own. Happy anniversary. Happy, happy anniversary. Many, many wonderful, joyous years and healthy years to come. We cherish your friendship. We love you both. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Bye-bye. Bye. Harriet and Clem, congratulations. I am so happy for you, and I am so happy that you found each other for obvious reasons, both you and me. Um, it's been really wonderful getting to know you these past couple of years. Um, I feel really blessed to have you two as my in-laws. Clem, you have spoken about that weekend at my family's house um, before the wedding where, you know, how special it was for you to get to know my family, for them to get to know you uh, without Andy there. Uh, and it was really special. Um, and I don't know if I've ever said how welcomed I have felt into the Sugarman family. Um, certainly over the weekend of Zach's Bar Mitzvah, um, but I also think about the weekend of the Women's March, where you know you not only welcomed me there, but you welcomed Rachel, and it was a really special weekend. It was some, you know amazing moment in history, and I got to spend it with so much of my family, with my sister and with Andy and with the, the two of you. Um, I also think about the Shabbat, the whole weekend of our engagement open house and how much work you put into that weekend um, to make sure that I met so much you know of your community and of your close friends and that's also part of welcoming me into your family a very thoughtful way um, to do that um, so thank you uh, I'm very happy for the two of you um, reaching this milestone I'm excited to be celebrating it with you, um, both with the whole family and then again, just the four of us uh, later in the summer. Um, and it's just great to spend all this time together, you know, enjoying the summer and each other and honoring the two of you. Um, so thank you uh, for being together all these years and for making Andy, actually, um, but making him and, you know, helping to make him into the thoughtful, wonderful man that I love. So, thank you, congratulations. I look forward to saying this in person um, and to celebrating in person. Congratulations. Hi, Harriet and Clem. It's Sandy Sirota from Museum Sirota. Um, I'm doing my homework. Your son has been very persistent and making sure that I am not late, so here it goes. I'm congratulating you on 45 years of marriage. I think it is remarkable. I'm sort of feeling like maybe I should have taken some very early lessons from you, but I didn't, so I will never be able to celebrate our 45th 
wedding anniversary. However, life has been good. Um, what I really love about you guys is your incredible interest in traveling and Clem museums. And I always find it an amazing experience to go to a museum with you because usually when you go to museums with people, you just kind of like sort of casually walk around and look at what you want to look at and sort of decide, at least I do mentally, what you like, what you don't like, why you like it, maybe why you don't like it, what you know about it. But Clem is an incredible person to visit a museum with. He's interested in most everything. And he is so intellectually curious and full of information that um, I just find it kind of like a little kid uh, playing with a toy, just overly enthusiastic and excited. And I think that's kind of how they present in life. So I think 45 years of enjoyment and travel and wonderful experiences and having priorities be your children and your grandchildren and making sure that those relationships are good and that you have access to seeing them and visiting with them is just really wonderful and I think that's what life is about and of course our family. Um, we all get along so well and uh, we like seeing each other and I certainly enjoy my lunches with Harriet alone. And um, anyway, that's all I have to report. Um, happy anniversary. Bye. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Mazel tov, mazel tov. Harriet and Clem, number 45. Wow. That is very special. If you hadn't married, there would be no Jed and no Andy. And if there were no Jed, there wouldn't have been a wedding between Jed and Dania. And if there hadn't been a wedding between Jed and Vanya, there wouldn't be wonderful Handelsman Sugarman grandchildren that we can share with you. You are the best Mahutonim we could ever wish for, and we love you dearly. Thanks for being the special people that you are. We're sending lots of love and again hearty muzzle to this comes from Curly and Neil, your Macher, Tonim, signing off in Toronto, Canada. Greetings from Dalton, your cousins, Leslie and Susan and Patches, and we want to wish you a happy 45th anniversary and congratulate you on that milestone. And I'm going to let Leslie tell you about ours. We are coming up on our 50th anniversary, so if there's anything special in anybody's lives for y'all with 45 and us with 50th forthcoming on Sunday, I think it is that you've been together that long and we wish you all the very best and very, very best to all of your family. Thanks. Hi, Clem and Harriet. It is so much fun to make this little message for you. When I thought about the question that Andy asked us to answer, I actually thought about the time that uh, Clem was ill and in the hospital while you both were in our learning program, Yesodot Halimud, and the incredible teamwork that you had to pull out to get through that really difficult season. It was an inspiration to me and to everyone in our group. And then to be able to celebrate with you both when Clem was well again. So wish you many, many more years of happiness and health together and uh, to the possibility of continuing to watch you and your wonderful family grow. Mazel tov. Hi, Clem and Harry, and happy anniversary to both of you. We love sharing so many wonderful times with you. Um, you are an exemplar of a great and loving couple. And we love sitting down to dinner with you and hearing the latest adventures of the Sugarmans. Um, we wish you Simcha and uh, many, many happy anniversaries to come. And we're also proud of your political activism <laughs> which we sh and we share your passions because you are helping to make a better world for your grandchildren and ours and everybody else's. 
So, and we look forward to having many, many more meals and laughter and great discussions for many, many years to come. We love you. Bye. Hey guys, happy hey. anniversary. Hey, Clem and Harriet. You've been with us as friends and emotional support since we got married. You stood with us to celebrate two weddings. You exclaimed over our children's accomplishments and our grandchildren's births. How to define friendship except somebody who will be there with you for all those things and all the tribulations, and that is the two of you. Um, it's our hope that we can continue to be that kind of support for you. Have a happy anniversary. We love you, Kate, Jeffrey, Ashley, and Elizabeth didn't want to be in this. Right. <laughs> Enjoy your anniversary. Bye. It's difficult to even know where to begin in describing our relationships and our feelings for both of you. You have been an important part of our lives and we cherish the love we have for each other. For me, my memories go way back before Clem even entered into the picture with our almost daily visits to Copley Road, Passover Seders, vacations to Myrtle Beach, and sometimes laughing until the early morning hours. That relationship has continued to this day. When I entered the picture, Harriet and Clem were already a happily married couple, but from the beginning I felt that not only was I a part of their family, but part of the entire Sugarman family. I can remember the times before Larry and I married. Larry was called into duty either looking after Andy and Jed or even the more daunting task of taking care of Dempsey, including my trips to the vet in Springfield to get medicine for Dempsey's skin condition. If that was not being a real part of the family, I don't know what is. Both of you have been such an important part of our lives that it is literally impossible to recall any one time that was more special than any other. As we think that every time we get to spend time together is a very special time. We feel blessed that we have been able to share so many times together. Both sad, but especially the happy ones, and they have been many. We have no doubt that you know how much you mean to us. We have felt your love and caring and hope that you have felt ours in return. On this happy occasion, we can only wish you every joy you deserve and hope that we will remain part of each other's lives for many years to come. We love you. Hi, Harriet and Clem. Mazel Tov on your 45th wedding anniversary. We are so pleased to be part of this tribute. We have lots of wonderful things to say about you and memories of you, but we have promised Andy and Tim that we will keep it short so we can that. Uh, my favorite memory of you, many memories, but we will always think so fondly of your visits to Kingston, sitting with you at our house watching the St. Lawrence. So. Yes, somehow watching the St. Lawrence River um, with its waters flowing forever always used to make us very calm and reflective, um, as if there were things happening in the world that were above and beyond all the things that we were discussing. Uh, these were very precious times involving the state of the world, the state of our families and our friendship. My, the thing I admire most about the two of you um, is your love. Your love of people, your love of families. We will never forget when you were born in 2000, how you opened your hearts, your home, your love to us. And that was the beginning of a wonderful friendship that has just grown and grown over the years and we cherish it. I would say the thing I admire both of yours, uh, of you, um, in addition to everything that Vivian has already said, is your passion and your commitment to the search for a better world. Your sense of justice and humanity are commendable and you people actually do something about it. And I think the world is a much better place for having you in it. And I think it would be an even better place if there were more people like you. 
So thank you for being our friends. Thank you for being wonderful human beings. And may you have many, many more anniversaries together and many more to share with us. And we love you both very much and thank you for your love and friendship. A tribute to our good friends, Harry and Kim. 45 years together, and the lucky Whitmans have known you for the entire time. Time to share and experience all of our life cycle events, annual celebratory overpriced dinners, travels, hikes, bike rides, Passover seders, break fast, Rosh Hashanahs, births, death, Shabbat dinners, and weddings. Thanks to you, we joined the Adat Shalom community, which we all love so much. One of our favorite experiences over the years has been listening to you talk about your trips together. We were often not sure if you had been to the same place. We treasure your friendship and are delighted that we have made, have together made it for 45 years as married couples. 45 years of successful marriage is a major accomplishment. Mazel tov! Hi Harriet and Clem. Myrna and I are so happy to be part of your anniversary celebration. And Harriet, I'm so happy that our friendship from Forest Park evolved so we can get together to talk politics and family and politics and volunteering and more politics. We wish you many, many more years of happiness, of health, and lots of laughs. Happy, Happy anniversary. anniversary. Harriet and Clem, I love your seriousness of purpose and dedication to Tikkun Olam. I also love your adventuresome spirit, and I will fondly remember our many hours together at Yisadot, in the Yisadot Hollywood program. My very best and warmest well, wishes. Happy anniversary. We were honored to be at your wedding 45 years ago. And of course, Clem and I, having grown up together at Dothan, shared many happy occasions together, had many fond memories of our childhood. And we're just pleased to be a part of this and to wish you guys a very, very happy anniversary and, and many more. Harriet and Clem, happy anniversary. I think Andy had a great idea coming up with this tribute. I want to go back to my earliest memories. Of course, it was at your wedding. And Harriet, you got to wear the Bloom Helen Bloomberg wedding dress that four of us so proudly wore. And as you walked down the aisle and were beginning to uh, marry Clem, all of a sudden a dozen or so people jumped up and realized they were in the wrong wedding reception, the wrong wedding ceremony. So your marriage started out with humor. And I know that humor is the salve that's gotten us all through these many years. Two things that um, I admire about the two of you, uh, one is your commitment to your Judaism and your commitment to volunteerism. And we hope you have many more healthy anniversaries to celebrate. So, happy, happy anniversary. anniversary, Harriet and Clem. Harriet and Clem, Sharon and I are excited about sending you this message uh, on your 45th wedding anniversary. As you well know, we were around before the 45th year even started. So uh, we're thrilled to still be around to uh, send you uh, wishes of uh, congratulations. Absolutely. Mazel tov for 45 years. Uh, it's been great being with you for 45 years and getting to know you all and good times. And let me remind you also that we still have all the secrets from before the 45th year and uh, we are uh, thrilled to keep them as secrets and uh, that, just, <laughs> that just solidifies our relationship even more. So mazel tov, many more happy returns and uh, God willing you'll never catch us. Talk to you soon, mazel tov, look forward to seeing you. And let us know if you figure out what those secrets are that we're keeping because we do remember them. I don't think we can remember them, though. No. But maybe you two do. All right, be well. Basel Tov. We are Audrey and Ken Kramer. We've had the good fortune of knowing Harriet and Clem 
for over 40 years. We met at Temple Shalom when our sons, Aaron and Jed, were in a Sunday preschool program. We have admired Harriet's and Clem's deep commitment to family and to their untiring pursuit of social justice. Their amazing energy and leadership skills in Jewish activities and political activism have greatly impressed and motivated us. They have always been a source of information and guidance from personal and investment advice to travel information and to the entertainment scene. We are proud to be their friends and we wish them a very happy 45th anniversary and many more. Amen. And now, a poem by Judy Winner, cousin of Harriet. Dearest Harriet and Clem, to know you is to love you. That's a simple fact. Your family and friends will attest to that. Your love for each other simply glows. Your kindness and strength forever shows. Your, through good times and tough, you're always there to show each other how much you care. My love for the two of you will always be a guiding light and blessing to me. I hold my glass high and a toast to you. May you have sunny skies and good health your whole life through. May God always protect you from above, guide you and shower you with love. From my heart to your heart, I send a hug and a kiss for a, jo for a joyous 45th. Love always. Judy winner. We got the three sugar handles. Yo. Clem and Harriet Sugarman anniversary 2017. We love you so much, that is a fact. When I come to Washington, there's so much to pack because there are so many fun activities to do. But the only reason we come is because we love you. You call me a foodie when you take me out. By the time we're finished, our bellies do blout. We go to events, we have a blast. But when it's time to leave, I feel like no time has passed. I was so happy when I saw you guys. It was the best part of my bar mitzvah, and that's not a lie. In just a few days, I will see you again. I can't wait till we're together in Washington. This February, we all went to Costa Rica. We all had fun and said, Pura Vida. It's too bad that we live so far apart. But when I get to see you, it warms my heart. Hey. Save the best for last because I love you the most. Everyone knows that there is no need to boast. A brushel and a peck and a hug around the neck. When you sing that, we all connect. Happy anniversary! We love you. Hi, Harry and Clem. We are making this video to tell you of our love and respect and admiration we have for you. We have looked at your lives and seen how compassionate you are and how you have expressed this in your community, in, the, in your family, your friends. It's been a wonderful example of two people doing a great job of living well. We were asked what we admire most about you and I guess I would have to say is your sense of humor, your ability to laugh, to laugh at life and laugh at difficulties and get through them, which is a lifeline for getting through life. Anyway, we love you very, very much and want to tell you how proud we are that you are, you've lived such wonderful lives and we love you. And I just want to add that what I remember so well have been all the great times you've had together the, over these many years in the Bethesda area, Dothan, and other places, and also how much we admire your family, your extended family, and um, we have great recognition for uh, how wonderful and important this is. So at this point, I'll just say bye-bye. Hello, 
what a great opportunity it is for us to celebrate two great cousins, um, one that's not only a familial relationship, but a personal relationship, and one that's um, transpired them now amongst three generations. Our kids, your kids, our grandkids, and your grandkids. I think what makes this even much more special for us is the love that you all have found for Maine, which gives us that much more time to celebrate um, important time together. Yes. And uh, I think well, we're just sort of watching you sit and enjoy the beach, taking long walks, uh, watching the tide change, you know, coming over to our place to have meals, uh, having the cousins play baseball together on the field. I mean, all those pieces um, are so wonderful for us. Well, this is it. Happy, happy anniversary to an absolutely marvelous couple who has given to this world two beautiful children. We couldn't be any happier for you all. See you in Maine. Look forward to it. Stay well. So it's Harriet and Clem's anniversary. Wow. And we've been instructed to do a video tribute for them. A tribute? Wait, isn't a tribute an excessive tax, rental, or tariff imposed by a sovereign or lord? I know Clem worked for the IRS and manages other people's money, but he's not a god or a king, and I'm not playing along with this farce, this silly tax scheme to the frauders of our money. Hi. I stop fraud. I'm not playing along with this stuff. Honey. No, honey, they're reconstructionists. I think they want us to do a tribute in the sense of showing respect, gratitude, and affection. Oh, gratitude. I got that. An attitude of gratitude. And affection and respect, too. Yes, Harriet and Clem. We're so fortunate that you swooped into our lives at the Adat Shalom Retreat in 2001 and folded us into your family. We love spending time with you, talking about travel, politics, art, travel, politics, art, <laughs> travel, politics, our kids, your kids, the grandkids, politics, travel, <laughs> so much more over the, and so much more over the past 16 years. A fraction of your marriage, but more than ours. We're especially grateful to you for including us in your annual Rosh Hashanah Tash Sechim dinner. And for coming in the middle of the night to our house to stay with Isabel when Jacob was born. And for hosting my parents at your house during our bed book scare. And for including us in many of your milestones, simchas, and for celebrating weddings, and baby namings, and so far one bat mitzvah, and Hopefully, soon, someday, perhaps, a wonderful bar mitzvah. <laughs> With us. <laughs> With us. We're especially grateful to you for your sharing your wisdom, passion, and curiosity about the world with us. We are so fortunate to have you as friends. So is that enough of a tribute? Or do we need to see something much more flowery than that? I think that's enough. Oh, oh wait, maybe you should say something funny. I, I can't do funny, I'm not funny. Well, we know that, but I love <laughs> you anyhow. Um, do you mean something like that old, uh, uh, Henny Youngman quote? You mean, some people ask the secret for a long, of our long marriage, and I tell them that uh, we take time to go to a restaurant two times a week. A little can like dinner, soft music and dancing. She goes on Tuesdays and I go on Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> well, not exactly, but that will do. Harry and Clem, happy, happy anniversary. anniversary. We, we love you and, and admire you and wish you many more years of joy, exploration, and passion together. Harriet and Clem. I want to offer tribute first and foremost to the two incredible people and the incredible families that they are begetting um, who had the brilliant idea to make this video montage and further suggested where in the Baltimore area where I was anyway while this was getting collated um, might be significant and I understand Bethel right off of uh, Park Heights at 695 is the family homestead 
And uh, Clem, I'm sorry I wasn't in Alabama, but I was in Baltimore. Um, so, uh, first, tribute to you for the absolutely remarkable work you have done with two of my favorite gentlemen uh, spread out across the East Coast. Um, and needless to say, appreciation for your involvement, your leadership, your vision, your presence um, at Edat Shalom, which has brought so much in so many capacities long before one of you took the co-presidency. Um, but I also want to offer tribute to you for the incredible work that you do in the world. Just the goodness that you offer, the volunteerism um, on 501c3 and 501c4, on Jewish, on political, and on the wider world. Um, you are uh, just incredible role models, fabulous human beings, incredible parents and grandparents, um, and wonderful leaders. It is an honor to be friends with you, to share sacred community with you, and I can't wait to see what the years ahead will bring for all of us together. So, Mazel Tov, happy milestones, many, many more. Mechazak lechazak, from strength to strength. Happy anniversary from Jerusalem, Harry and Clem. I'm here babysitting my grandson, Yardane. Say hello, Yardane. Say hello to the camera. Say hello. Hello. Dis bonjour. Say shalom. What? It's, it's, it's taking a picture of you. And I want you to say happy anniversary. Can you say happy anniversary? This. This is, that's right. It's exactly right. I love you. Anyway, uh, that's Yardane. He's, he's one of my grandchildren. One of our grandchildren. And I'm babysitting here. Rachel's in the other room babysitting his little sister. And I don't know where Abigail is. Anyway, from Jerusalem, you have a happy anniversary. We've had many good times together, both here and in the old country. And we love your boys and your daughters-in-law and their family. And we wish you all many, many more years of happiness together. And uh, this year in Jerusalem, next year in Jerusalem, DC, whatever, uh, with better governments, and uh, have a great time. Now what do I do? Harriet and Clem, Marcia and Dick from the Oakland Hills wishing you a very happy and healthy 45th wedding anniversary. We love you guys, and we always treasure the time we spend with you. It never seems to be enough, but we'll, uh, we'll take whatever we can get. And our commitment is to make it more in the future. And, um, you know, what can we say about you guys? You're just so caring, giving, compassionate, committed, involved, engaged, great family. We don't know how you find time to do it all, but you do, and your priorities are always in the right order. It's family, friends, your community, um, our country, and your engagement in in politics in the world and you find time to travel you're amazing and you're, you're we can count on you for fun or having a serious discussion you guys have it all thank we, you we love you and um healthy healthy and uh, many many you many many years together hi clem and harriet i want to wish you guys a really happy anniversary and i wanted to just remind you of a favorite memory of mine um, so do you guys remember the day that uh, the four of us met sitting on the steps at Shepherdstown outside the uh, auditorium and the very long conversation we had that day? Anyway, thinking of you on this special day of yours. Take care now. Bye-bye. Hi. For those who don't know us, we're Angie and Ken Kudon. We've known Harriet and Clem for almost all the years of our lives. It all began, for us at least, in December of 1971 in Atlanta, Georgia. Clem, who was visiting from Washington, introduced us to this 
wonderful young woman by the name of Harriet Simon. We met her again about a week later at a New Year's party. We knew, because Clem had taken her to see his mother, that this was for real. And six months later, they married. I was a, an usher at the wedding. From that time forth, <clears throat> we have been their friends and companions at weddings, bar mitzvahs, brises, many, many, many movies, many, many, many baseball games, an African safari, and in recent years, they visit us a number of times in Florida. It has been a long journey, but we have loved every minute of it. And all we can say is, happy, happy 45th, 45th anniversary. anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> May you have many, many more. Agreed. <laughs> Hi, Clem and Harriet. This is Jeff Spieler, wishing you a very, very happy 45th wedding anniversary, which I know was in May. And uh, it's a pleasure to be asked by Andy to make this tribute to you. You're both very special people, and I admire you both for the nice people that you are, the sincere people that you are, the hard work that you do, Harriet, and Clem, your, your appreciation of gratitude really is inspiring. I'm really happy to be your friend and I hope to be your friend for many years and I hope that we can celebrate your 50th wedding anniversary together and your 60th wedding anniversary together. It's really a pleasure to be one of the people who asked to make a tribute to you and I love you both. Thank you. Thank you Andy for inviting me and have a wonderful time Clem and Harry and all your guests. Bye-bye. So Harriet and Clem, this is Vivian and Bob, obviously. And I just want you to know that we gave the videographer the evening off because she had been working so hard that we did not want to have the person at anything other than their, their, their highest peak performance. But we wanted to be responsive to the request to say something nice about you. I mean, something we remember lovely, I'm sorry, uh, in honor of your 50th wedding anniversary. Can you believe that? What? It's 45, it's not 50. Oh, that's your 45th. Why are we doing this for your 45th? <laughs> I think that's right. Well, whether it's your 45th or your 50th, there's a lot of energy behind this. And so we're going to we're, we're gonna do something. But, but instead of talking about why we like you, and Harriet, I think you're probably one of the few people I know that love conservative Republicans and think they, gen they really don't lie. Uh, we want to talk about times we've spent together. We had... We've had wonderful get-togethers with the cousins, and it's, it's been a really wonderful time. And our backyard, and your house, and different places, and the, the uh, Donald and Brigitte's, it's been fun. And we really, really like to do it, and we like to continue doing it. And you have been a very real part and a rock in that. I'll never forget the dinner in Bethesda. I'm not sure what you served. I'm not sure whether I liked it or not. All I can tell you is that the love in the room that you fostered and you nurtured in that that special time and your special place is with us always so congratulations to you the pride and joy of copley road harriet and clem the pride and joy of dothan alabama wow who would have thought congratulations you mazel too. tov, is mazel tov. It, whether it's 45 or 50 we'll have to clear that up okay. mazel tov the Dobkin crew has spent quite a bit of time thinking about what we want to say to you on the occasion of your 45th anniversary. And here it is, the very last day to enter this video, and I'm here with the dogs and nobody else. So know that I'm speaking for the whole family. We thought long and hard about what is it we respect the most about Harriet and Clem. And the conclusion that we reached, and there were many things we respect, the conclusion that we reached is that after 45 years of marriage, you both have so much to talk about, and you do it all the time. Eric and I probably stopped talking to each other after a year or two of marriage, so we really do respect that. And I'm here with the dogs, and what we want to say 
is that we wish you a very happy anniversary and we really do hope that you're around together for many more years to keep talking to each other ad nauseum. We send a lot of love. Happy anniversary. Harriet and Clem, it's Pamela and Robert. And we're thinking of you on your anniversary and your numerous celebrations that Andy's putting together. And reflecting on the 35 wonderful years that we've known you, being able to celebrate so often with you on the anniversaries, birthdays, weddings, Jerusalem, Maine, it's been great. And we're looking forward to many more years. And I remember Clem leaping out of the, the cove at Outer Heron Island, having jumped in the water and saying, this is fabulous. And it absolutely is. And having these 35 years of memories with you guys is also fabulous. And we look forward to many more. Lots of love to both of you. Also, I'll throw in the PTA and the house sales while we're on that. It. Much love. We're thinking of you. Bye. Hi, Clem and Harriet. We fondly remember and always will remember our many good times together, but especially our trip to Vietnam. We are pleased to have the opportunity to wish you a happy 45th anniversary and wish you many more in good health and happiness. This proclamation is issued on the summer solstice, this 21st day of June, 2017 in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts in the town of Easton. Whereas Harriet and Clem Sugarman have recently celebrated their 45th wedding anniversary, and whereas <laughs> to the knowledge of their longtime friends, Beth, Bob, Marianne, and Paul, they have never once quarreled or even disagreed, and where, whereas they thus have served as role models for the Davises, the Lamberts, and countless other married couples, and whereas Clem, with Harriet's constant support, has many extraordinary achievements, including, most importantly, single-handedly coaching the Westbrook Very Bad News Bears to their only win in the 1986 Little League season, and where, whereas Harriet, with Clem's steadfast support, is an all-star exemplar of a volunteer for many important causes. Now, therefore, by the powers invested... Harriet and Clem, Sam and I want to wish you a happy anniversary on this really great milestone for you. You know, you can tell a tree by the fruit it produces. And while I didn't get to know uh, Jed very well, I've had the pleasure of spending a good deal of time with Andy, uh, and I see that his love of Judaism, his love of people, his commitment to community, all comes out of the kind of life that the two of you have led. Uh, Harry, of course, your leadership of the congregation is just kind of the pinnacle of years of commitment to community and to society. And Clem, I remember so well the tish at Andy's wedding when you spoke with such pride uh, about Andy and, and, and what he represents and the kind of young man you've raised. So on this day, again, we wish you many happy returns, good health, and years of happiness together. Dear Harriet and Clem, we're delighted to be sending you anniversary wishes for good health and for continued love, which is a blessing. Your relationship exemplifies all that is loving. Harriet, your grace and beauty, it's not hard to see why Clem fell in love with you, and Clem, your kindness, sweet smile, 
and twinkle in your eye is no secret as to why Harriet fell in love with you. Hi, Harriet and Clem. What I admire most about you is your intellectual curiosity and your willingness to devote time to the causes you believe in. And I've enjoyed all the time I have spent with both of you, both in practice as well as in the book group. Have a wonderful 50th. Hi, Harriet and Clem. We want to send you a message, a very happy anniversary message from both of us and let you know how much we appreciate you in our lives and appreciate all of your love and all of your support. And we just want to celebrate your anniversary. We'll be seeing you very soon. We love this idea of everyone being able to send their, uh, send their greetings, especially to celebrate your anniversary because of how much energy and love you bring to everyone else's simchas from our wedding 18 years ago to Andy's wedding and all of the bar and bat mitzvahs and family events um, and all of our friends here in Boston who love to celebrate with you. In fact, they all wish you happy anniversary as well. <laughs> um, and we will leave all of the entertainment and creativity for the kids, but we will express our sincere um, appreciation of you as role models and we would just like to wish you a very, very happy anniversary. Yeah.